I just spoke with the Prime Minister of Israel and uh, Lebanon. I'm pleased to announce that their governments have accepted the United States' proposal to end the devastating conflict between Israel and Hezbollah. And that is President Biden speaking from the Rose Garden, announcing the 60-day ceasefire that will go into effect early tomorrow morning. This comes following more than a year of fighting between Israel and Lebanon. ABC's Rena Roy has more on the deal and gives us a look at some of the devastation left behind as the two nations fired missiles at one another during negotiations. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu meeting with his security cabinet today, agreeing to a ceasefire deal with Iran-backed Hezbollah. <laughs> Netanyahu saying he'll do everything to prevent Iran from getting a nuclear weapon. He also vowed to bring the remaining hostages home from Gaza. The deal set to go into effect soon, starting a 60-day ceasefire, during which Israeli forces would withdraw from Lebanon in phases. The Lebanese army would be stationed in southern Lebanon to ensure Hezbollah has cleared out of the area. This is designed to be a permanent cessation of hostilities. What is left of Hezbollah and other terrorist organizations will not be allowed, well, I emphasize, will not be allowed to threaten the security of Israel again. As talks were underway, explosions erupting in the capital city of Beirut. You can see plume after plume of smoke rising from the city skyline. Israel Defense Forces saying they completed a series of intelligence-based strikes on 20 terror targets in the area, sending evacuation orders about 20 minutes before they hit. Nine warnings in total in a Hezbollah stronghold area in the southern part of the city. Earlier, about 45 rockets were also fired into Israel, according to the IDF. Hezbollah began attacking Israel a day after the Hamas October 7, 2023 terror attack in Israel, setting off more than a year of fighting, which turned into an all-out war in September with massive Israeli airstrikes in Lebanon and an Israeli ground invasion of the country's south. Hezbollah has fired thousands of rockets into Israeli military bases, cities and towns, including about 250 projectiles on Sunday alone. U.S. officials say a ceasefire deal between Israel and Lebanon could incentivize Hamas to end the conflict in Gaza. Rina Roy, ABC News, New York.